I have been browsing the BBC Maestro series. I didn't start out believing it was possible for someone like me to be a successful TV writer. It might just throw a few ideas to you of right, where do we go, left or right? It's a paid for class of uh, masterclasses, I guess, um, from experts um, that will have a series of videos that will show you how some of their favorite techniques and tips for doing things so you can look at directing with edgar wright or photography with rankin and loads of other subjects besides and then what caught my eye was marco pierre white uh, with his masterclass covering all sorts of foods and we make lots of mistakes and i've made more mistakes than anyone i know um, and the particular recipe that caught my eye was one for fondant potatoes this recipe is actually uh, free to view and download for yourself. You can go and watch it over at the BBC Maestro site. It seems like quite a good masterclass put together, if I'm honest. The only downside is you can either buy one course for a fixed price, which is quite high, but they are very high quality, um, or you can uh, pay a subscription, but the subscription has to last a year. And I just don't want to pay out for a year's worth of subscription to this to, to view all these bits and pieces. If they had a monthly service, I'd probably be more inclined. His recipe for fondant potatoes looks like the one that comes from the Mirabelle cookbook from the restaurant he had in the late 90s. And if it's anything like the recipe in here, then it's actually very simple. Just a few ingredients and a handful of directions. So it's got to be pretty easy, right? That's a very big challenge. The video itself is pretty long. So um, I'm going to watch it, take it in, and then uh, try and make it myself. So let's watch some of it now. Pond fondants, without question, one of the great creations of French gastronomy. And when you can make something so simple, but it tastes delicious, you've arrived. And then bevel the potato. You have to retain the shape of the potato. There's no need to shape it into something it's not. So what you'll find me doing is spinning the pan around so it cooks evenly. And that's why I say treat it like a piano. So when you get to this stage, don't walk away. Mother her, look after her, drunk with butter. Now that is perfection. Okay, so that was the video itself, which was, I guess, interesting. Um, very serious. Marco Pierre White, known as a very serious man, not a joker. I'm not here to criticise you. I'm just here to be honest and give you my honest opinion. He okay. doesn't laugh around a lot. Um, but, you know treating his food very very seriously um, and hey he's got the uh, accolades to show for it doesn't usually do tv cookery type shows yes he's known for a few adverts yes you can season with salt but trust me nor stop pop does a better job never really had a series that i can recall that was straight down the lens cookery type shows i'm sure i can be proven wrong on that what i'm going to do now is show you how to make the perfect crackling no fuss straightforward Guaranteed every time. He's clearly in a different stage of his life now, and he has a venerable old wizard <laughs> character to him, um, and certainly has a, a particular philosophy on food. So with all that bouncing around my head, let's, uh, let's go and try that recipe now. So let's attempt those Marco Pierre white potatoes again. Here, just using a few small potatoes. I'm gonna use Marco's advice, and I'm going to turn them if you're ever in a high-end restaurant, you'll have to turn vegetables. This is my very poor attempt at it, but what we're trying to do is create clean sides so that you get a nice barrel shape. There we go, that'll do for now. It's certainly good enough to try it. So back into a much smaller pan, as you can see there, it's probably about 15 centimeters at the top. Just adding enough butter there, probably about 100 grams or so, and just six small potatoes and then the water and then the butter paper never waste butter papers they're so useful after several minutes of simmering you can see that the water is starting to be driven off no colouring yet but they're definitely cooking well a little while longer and the knife will start to go in and you can see they're starting to color really nicely so it's at this point i'm going to turn them over season them with plenty of sea salt cook for just a few more minutes and then when they're colored on that side i'm going to turn off the heat and wrap them in a double layer of cling film 
Another secret when making the perfect pom fondant is to leave them to rest, to drink, and to end up intoxicated on butter. So we finally have our potatoes finished. So the potato is now super golden and pretty sure Marco said to brush them with a little bit of this resting liquor. I'm just going to add some extra salt. Well, you can take a humble potato and turn it into something extraordinary, something exceptional. And you place it in your mouth and then you start to dream and fantasize. That's when you know you're doing your job well. Well, that certainly tastes very good, but we've got a lot of butter in there, so I'm not surprised it tastes really good. And we're sort of somewhere between a new potato, a boiled potato, and a roast potato, because we've got that crust on there, but there's no crunch, there's just that caramelization, mm, which gives that really nice nutty flavor. So it's a good recipe. It's pretty wasteful, so I'm not inclined to do it again. And I dare I say it, they do kind of remind me of tin potatoes, far from a gourmet experience. So. It does give me an idea to try it again, but with tin potatoes. And I wonder if you can get that glaze quite quickly um, with butter. Something I'm going to think about and try hopefully in a future recipe. Back to Marco's Maestro video. It's really, it's a bit funny at first, I'll be honest, because he's very, very serious. And he's taking it very, very seriously. But this has taken me on a bit of a rabbit hole and I've started to read some of his books and I've started to delve more into the character himself. And that's definitely going to come up in future videos. Marco is a fascinating character. He really is. I've never really spent much time reading about him, but I've done lots of research for this video and I'm going to be doing more and looking deeper into his style and his recipes uh, to understand it a bit further. The Maestro video itself is quite entertaining. You can watch this one for free on the Maestro website and subscribe. Um, I'll put links down below. So I'm not sponsored by Maestro at all, but it's a fascinating series by all means. And Actually, if I look past some of the, I guess, the pretentiousness. The chef who created that dish, I have to say, was a genius. And his, his style there. Actually, there's a lot of really interesting stuff in there. Little nuggets about taking time, about using cartouches, which is not something I really do. The paper stops the water from evaporating so quick. That's why it's important to have the butter paper. Um, about really... <laughs> literally sweating the detail on those things and um, not complicated at all. And when you can make something so simple, but taste delicious, you've arrived. I also, unfilmed, I made a vegetarian lasagna that he made um, as part of the same series. It really was excellent. Um, very finely diced vegetables uh, all coming together. I think there's more in that Maestro series, so look, stay tuned for more on Marco Pierre White. But for now, why don't you watch some of these recipes over here, some more potato-based recipes um, that I love to make. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Mm. A person who works with their hands is a laborer. A person who works with their hands and their brain is a craftsman. But a person who works with their hands, their brain and their heart is an artist.